What's going on? I want to talk about PlayStation VR. Maybe you've played it, maybe you haven't played it, and you're thinking about getting it for the holidays, for yourself, or for the loved ones. You heard about all the PlayStation exclusives they have to offer, or maybe this will just be your first VR and you've never played one before. What I want to do here is I want to go over PlayStation VR as a whole. I'm going to give it a 60 second review where I'll go over all the pros, the cons, let you know exactly what to expect out of it. Like always, I'll finalize that review with a score, 1 through 10. 10 being amazing, you have to pick it up. I'll leave it linked down in the bottom. Or 1 being trash, don't even waste your time. And I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you guys so much. If you want to continue to support the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a like or a comment. Let me know down below what PlayStation VR game you're most excited to play or which one is your favorite. Now on to the review, I want to start with the pros. The PlayStation VR has a 5.7 inch OLED panel with a 1080p resolution. You have tons of great games. You have Astrobot Rescue Mission, Super Hot VR, Wipeout, Skyrim VR, Resident Evil 7, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, Firewall, Dreams, Blood and Truth, No Man's Sky VR, where you can straight up just fly through the whole universe, every galaxy, you'll never be done exploring that game. Beat Saber, you know, basically Star Wars meets music. That's cool. Iron Man VR, you get to beat Iron Man. Creed, Rise to Glory, you get to box with Rocky, fight with Creed. That's a lot of fun. Doom VR, that's all I have to say. Wolfenstein, Until Dawn, Batman VR, Star Trek Bridge Crew, Vader Immortal. You see where I'm going. Tons of great games. It's compatible with the PlayStation Move controller. It's old school tech, but it gives you that kind of realistic feeling where you can use your hands in the game instead of just the PlayStation controller, but you can just use the PlayStation controller if you want to. There are tons of free games on here, a lot of free content, and if you are a PlayStation owner, it's a must have. You can use it with your other apps like YouTube and Hulu and get that full VR experience. And my last pro is Hitman 3. Just saying. As for cons, you only have one camera, so you don't have that that true 3D scope of environment. It's not the most advanced VR on the market if you're comparing it to PC VR like Oculus Rift, because the PlayStation VR still runs on the old tech. But they're going to be upgraded to the PlayStation VR 2 next year or so. But all the games and everything's still going to be compatible with the original headset if you still have it. Just saying. Now I do want to finalize this with a score 1 through 10, 10 being amazing, 1 being trash, and my personal opinion is PlayStation VR is a solid 8. It's a must have if you're a PlayStation owner, but if you're looking for the best VR experience, you're going to find that on PC, but if you're looking for PlayStation exclusives, you're looking for a really good VR experience and you are a PlayStation owner, then I definitely recommend picking up the headset. It's going to be compatible with all the games. You don't need to pick up the VR2 headset, but if you want to, if you're waiting for that, you know, go ahead and pick that up. It's probably going to have nicer controllers. I can't wait to pick up those controllers. But if you want to play a PC game, if you are, you know, looking for a PC headset, you know, get the Oculus Quest. I, I really enjoy playing some PC exclusives like Half-Life Alex. That's a lot of fun. That's probably the best VR game I've played. That was on PC. If you're looking for the best VR game I've played on the PlayStation, you know, it's probably going to be Hitman 3 coming up. Right now, I really do enjoy playing Vader Immortal, but that's just a new game. But a game I like to explore around is Skyrim VR and No Man's Sky VR. Those are the two where you can just explore. No Man's Sky VR, obviously you're going through space, you're checking out different planets exploring in Skyrim VR we've all played Skyrim if you haven't just get on it it's on every platform I'm certain you can play it on your phone just just get it's Skyrim but they're gonna make an Elder Scrolls 6 probably they're gonna have all that coming out you know we'll see but thank you guys so much for sticking here to the end of the video I really do appreciate all your support if you haven't hit that subscribe button Definitely smash that button now, leave a like, leave a comment, let us all know down below what is your favorite VR game, and I'll see you guys at the next video.